Okay. I am making apple pumpkin scones without sugar. So I just took a combination of some scone recipes off of YouTube. And I've made scones before from Cook's County. They kind of cracked the code of like the berry scones scientifically. I didn't follow any of that, but I'm just saying like I started with like my base of some scone recipes. So these ones have three cups of sugar. You have to do all the dry ingredients in one bowl. And I did screw up. I put in um, three cups of flour, a stick of butter cut up into little bitty pieces. You're supposed to mix all of that with, I put like a pinch of salt. Um, I did not put baking soda, but you're supposed to put like a pinch of baking soda. I put a big, a one and a half teaspoon or one and a half tablespoons of baking powder. And I toss that around and normally you would put sugar, but I don't use sugar. So I'm, instead of mixing that all up like you're supposed to, I added the apples first. So my butter didn't get incorporated properly, but it still looks like it came out good. You're going to experience this with me. Wet ingredients was an egg, half a cup of pumpkin, like, you know, like Libby's for pumpkin pie. I put in two chopped apples because I wanted it really apple -y. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've been like craving apple pie and I hate apples. Um, so I put in a quarter cup of whole milk and almost a quarter cup of maple syrup and one and a half teaspoons of vanilla and an egg. So that was like all mixed together. And then, um... I put in like a whole little cup of applesauce because I don't know if it's going to be sweet enough. Okay. Um, I put in a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon, a couple shakes of ginger, and a tiny, tiny little couple dashes of cloves in there to give it that spiciness. Okay, so this just came out of the oven and I'm going to taste it to see how it came out. It's, it's nice. It's a good texture. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on my plate over here. And I don't know, this is me tasting this for the very first time. I've never eaten it before, ever. I've never had this before. Last night I ate three apples with cinnamon on it and a, like three cups of this milk because I was just craving like apple pie with ice cream on it and I don't eat any sugar so mmm okay so it's chewy it's moist like cake it's very bland can you see me eating it in the mirror I have a mirror over there it's actually really good like my taste buds are so used to not having sugar that to me this tastes really good. So I hope that you enjoy and make this yourself. You're gonna want to mix all your dry first, then add your butter, then mix your butter in really good, just like with a flaky pie crust. You wanna like smush your butter. I use one stick of butter. Um, and it made like all this, plus there's like three more in there cooking. Okay. It actually is delicious. If we want it sweeter, we can drizzle maple syrup on it. But I'm not going to because I don't think it needs it. Um, and then you add, make a well in the center of your dry and add your wet and your wet ingredients are the half a cup of the pumpkin the little cup and I use all organic except Libby's because I couldn't find organic um, pumpkin and I use einkorn flour which 
I just ran out of that, but I'll show you. <laughs> My kitchen is such a big sty. Uh, this is the flour I use. It's it's jovial iron corn flour, and the reason I use that is because it's the only flour that God made that's still left on this earth <laughs> that has not been tampered with. And you know, I know a lot of people go, "Well, genetically modified food is not hurting people." Yes, it is. Okay, it is because plants, when they combine them, it just keeps adding on to their genetics. Like human beings are like a certain number of chromosomes and they're genetically modifying us, by the way, with their schmack scenes and stuff. And if you don't believe that, look at an autistic person. The center of their DNA is all scrambled. It's messed up. All right, um, not going to go that tangent today. Just wanted to make a fun food video of me sharing my apple scone recipe, which I just made for the very first time, and it does not suck. Actually, really delicious. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Einkorn wheat only has 14, one four, glutens in it. Normal... Frankenstein wheat that is in everything has been manipulated genetically so many times that it has four nine, 49 gluten proteins. If you want to learn more about this, read Dr. Davis's book, The Wheat Belly, because you will learn a lot there. And it destroys, literally destroys the body. It like it like makes holes in tight junctions, especially in the intestine, the icky wheat. That's why I use einkorn wheat. But anyways, I'm going to enjoy this with my milk. And I just wanted to share that with you. And you have a good Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Over and out, the mayor.